just start living like a celebrity? Well, I'm here to help. With some celebrity inspiration and a thousand bucks, it's time for a makeover. This is You Wish You Lived Here. Hey guys, Val here, and this is my backyard. It is large, problem is it's overgrown and there's absolutely nowhere for us to hang out or entertain. I find Emily really interesting. I love that she's quite eclectic. My backyard, it has a lot of potential. It just needs a little bit of love. Can you help? Need some help with that? Oh my God, welcome. Thank you. This is my backyard. I see that you've got a lot of concrete. It's overgrown and there is nowhere really for friends to come over and hang out once I'm home. I would really just love a place that I can come home to and relax. What you and Emily share is this love of an eclectic style. When you think of her, there's this California classic style, but then there's also this whole worldly international aspect of her. She's got that cohesiveness throughout her space with it, so we want to give that to you. If we can find a way to tie this in all together with everything looking great, I'm down for that. And Rada loves all things art and international culture. We want to bring Val that same feel, but blur the line between outdoor and indoor space. Val's backyard has so much potential, but just needs some elbow grease and refined polishing. We'll start by clearing the space and resealing her concrete floors with a medium gray paint epoxy. We'll upcycle her planters by painting them in a monochromatic theme and add in lots of decorative pieces with eclectic Cali vibe charm. We'll top it all off with some surprise pieces. Perfect for a friend chill out sesh. What are we waiting for? Let's get to it. Emily comes from a family of painters and is an artist at heart. We're gonna make our very own DIY fluid painting. At Val's place, we're gonna use a piece of plywood, but for this demo, I'm gonna use a mini canvas. Pick complementary colors. Separate the paints into plastic cups. Add your paint medium to the cups at a ratio of two parts paint medium and one part paint. Add water until the paint drips off your stir stick. Pour the paint into an empty cup, alternating colors as you go. Put your canvas over the cup and flip it over quickly, making sure that the cup does not lift off the canvas. Pull up the cup and let gravity do the work. Turn and tilt your canvas until the paint runs off the edges and you're happy with the result. Emrata was born in the UK, home of afternoon tea. Create your own tea garden with a simple DIY. Find some old teacups. With a permanent paint marker, write the herb name on your cup. Add rocks for drainage. Add soil. Add your favorite herbal tea plants. We used mint, rosemary, and lemon basil. And that's it. Emily and her new husband, Sebastian, got married this year at a very low-key wedding. But get this, they smelted their very own wedding rings. May their love burn on forever. Speaking of burning, we made Val her very own fire pit. And this is how we did it. Step one, buy a fire pit. Step two, find some bricks. Step three, spray paint them. Step four, build up the bricks, alternating colors for a decorative pattern. Step five, chillax by the fire. Val needed a place to relax with friends when she's not spinning her ones and twos on the road. And I'm pretty sure we gave that to her. But let's see what she thinks. Are you ready? I'm very ready. Wait, 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 you gotta close your eyes. Okay. Okay, Val, check out your new space. Woo! Oh my god, it's fantastic. Do you recognize awesome. your backyard? We wanted to keep it this theme of upcycling. So we made you your own bed for you and your friends to hang out outside. So much better. I cannot wait to have friends over. Now you've got a place to chill. So while we were working, we actually found on the street somebody had left a table. So we made you your very own coffee table with a built-in planter. Ooh. We made you your very own bar, which also doubles as a DJ booth. I'm loving the lighting, really. <laughs> it really ties it all in together. We painted you your very own rug. Yeah, I like the living room, but outside. outside. I get it. We took the bricks that you had lingering there, painted them, gave you a fire pit. So now on cold LA nights, you have somewhere to keep warm. Yeah, what a great idea. I can't wait to try it out, both the drinks as well as DJing. I brought you a giant gin martini. Mm -hmm. Just kidding, it's slime made from your tree. Oh, cheers. Cheers. So should we play something? Just hit that button right there. We got all these Enrada-inspired upgrades for $998.31.
a bodacious backyard on a budget. I love the space. My friends as well. I mean, the bar, the day bed, we've even had a sleepover out there. So I can be more happy with the way it turned out and I wanted to thank you guys so much. Do you wish you lived here? Because I do. Subscribe for more episodes of You Wish You Lived Here.